How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. So, ooh, man, it is cold out here in Central Oregon this morning. It's around 25 degrees, but out on my morning walk and enjoying the fresh air. So today's video is going to be the secrets to a great night's sleep. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of my new videos. Thanks a lot. See, so yeah, I just out here on my morning walk and thought I'd do a video on a really important topic that's uh, getting great sleep. So I know there's so many people that wake up a lot at night or just have trouble going to bed, going to sleep. So I thought I'd share some tips that work well for me on the way that I get my best sleep possible. So just going to go over four quick uh, tips. And some of them are obvious, but some are not so obvious. So make sure this is an important video to watch till the very end. So number one is cut out the caffeine. Uh, I, I don't drink coffee or any of that stuff. Um, I noticed that when I did, if I just drank even one cup in the morning, I, my sleep wouldn't, I would have trouble going to sleep at night. So that was a major thing that um, was important. So taper off that. That's my recommendation is to cut out the caffeine. Number two uh, you don't want to eat food or drinks within three hours of when you go to sleep at least. So stop consuming at least three hours before you go to bed. And that includes liquids as well. So you're not having to get up and go to the bathroom all night. Um, you know, food gives you energy. So you don't want to be eating close to when you go to sleep because that's going to give you energy and prevent you from going to sleep. So I've noticed that the, during those times where I've eaten closer to when I go to sleep, I ha my body is still digesting and I'm not able to fall. It takes me a lot longer to fall asleep. So stop eating, stop consuming at least three hours, you know, hopefully even four hours, but at least three hours before you go to sleep. Uh, the next thing is you definitely want to exercise during the day, either the morning or the daytime. Get out, get some vigorous exercise. It'll help wear you down. So when you're, you're not having all this energy at night, because you're burned off energy during the day. And I also don't recommend working out too close to when you go to sleep because then that is something when I've worked out later in the day, it's actually given me kind of more energy and then I had trouble going to sleep. But when I, when I work out either in the morning or during the daytime at the latest, the uh, late afternoon, then um, you know it burns off energy during the day and I'm tired at night. So that's the third thing. Make sure you get your exercise. Number four, and this is key, and this is something that most people probably don't do or may not even know about, and that is taking hot and cold showers or cold shower uh, before you go to sleep. So this has been something that's worked really well, is before I go to sleep, I hop in the shower and I take a hot and cold shower. I'll do 30 seconds hot, 30 seconds cold, 30 seconds hot, 30 seconds cold. And another way is you could just take a cold shower, and that will help... Um, Basically, I don't know. I don't know the science behind it, but it sure helps me go to sleep at night. It just burns off the energy and makes me puts me in a more tired state. So the hot and cold shower works really well, or just go straight to a cold shower um, to help you go to sleep. And I would recommend doing that like right before you get in bed. Um, I don't do the the cold showers during the day, but I know some people do. But that seems to work well for me. So. <clears throat> Thanks for watching the video. Please give a thumbs up if you liked the video, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.